thousands of Swiss, uh, secret Swiss bank accounts, accounts that Americans may be using to avoid paying taxes. Now, the Internal Revenue Service today announced a landmark deal with officials in Switzerland. It means the IRS can peek into more than 4,000 accounts held by rich Americans in Switzerland's biggest bank. Billions of dollars could be on the line. Our Tom Foreman has been looking into these vaults of banking secrecy. And Tom, what are we following here? Well, I'll tell you something, Suzanne. What we're following here is what really may be one of the biggest stories of the day, although it may not jump out at you that way to begin with. Look at this map. Everywhere that you see one of these raised gold symbols like this is a place in the world where people can do offshore banking. So you see it's off the coast of Africa here, Europe, over in the, in the South Pacific and Central America. What's offshore banking all about? We've all heard about it. Let's take a look at it. Offshore banking is a way that people can put money somewhere else, often seeking lower tax rates, sometimes seeking stability. Sometimes people are in very troubled parts of the world and they're seeking a place where they can put the money that they think is more stable so they won't lose the money. But most of all, many people say it's about this, about privacy, about hiding exactly how much you have, perhaps from the government in which you live. Now, there are other reasons too, global banking, global business deals, things like that. There's some good reasons for this in many cases, but it's very widespread. Look at this, down in the Caribbean, lots of it going on. The advantage to small nations is it allows them to compete on the world stage by offering something that maybe they can't offer in terms of natural resources or products or trade. But let's take a look over here at the big story here, which is, um, I'm going to have to spin it by hand over here. If we go over and look at Switzerland, this is where USB is, and this, Suzanne, is what they think could be the mother load in this big story. And why, why is the IRS going after them? Well, what they did is they went after USB, this big bank over there offers uh, UBS. Excuse me. They offered this. They went after them to say, "We need to know who you're dealing with because we think some of these people are trying to cheat our government." Uh, ultimately, uh, UBS said they'd go along, and they gave them about 5,000 accounts of the information on about 5,000 accounts. The IRS initially wanted 10 times as many, so it's not as much as they wanted. But these 5,000 accounts at some point or another had about 18 billion total dollars in them. These people are coming under pressure now, but this is the part that matters right down here. Sure. September 23rd is the voluntary deadline from the IRS where they're saying to these people who are going to be identified, you can come forward and talk to us before then. Tell us what your money was, what you were doing with it, and you might get off of this without such a big deal. Why does that matter? Because that is a way to make these folks perhaps talk about all the other banks and all the other clients in all these other countries. This is something the Obama administration said they wanted to do. They wanted to get at all this hidden money. And when you have a government like ours that's looking for money right now, this could represent a tremendous amount of money if they could, in fact, find all of these tax havens all around the world. One of those doesn't ways mean, to do it. Obviously, yeah, very doesn't mean big they're guilty job. just because they had an account. They sure. may not be, but certainly that's what they're looking for. All right. Tom, thank you very much. Fascinating report. Well, angry town halls are taking...